Well, so it's been a while since since I've uh, done a video and sorry about that. Just been sort of wrapped up in other stuff and really haven't been doing anything new to share, you know. I try to post stuff as I learn to do things or I experiment and fail or whatever or I come across something cool. But anyway, um, it's garden season. It's the uh, first week of March down here in South Carolina. So, it's, you know, we're getting ready to start planting here in the next couple weeks. So... Got my garden mostly ready. I still need to amend it. I gotta get some some cow crap and uh, maybe some peat moss to kind of fluff up this soil. It's a lot of clay, you know, we, we deal with that around here. But if you, if you mend it, do it for a few years, it'll usually turn out pretty good. I had some pretty decent success with this garden. Anyway, um, let me show you a couple things. So I did a, basically it's a, you know, electric fence wire around it. I, I'm trying to keep the deer out. It's a huge problem around here with pretty much anywhere. So this is just the uh, electric wire, poly rope wire. That that stuff you get it at Harbor Freight or um, this stuff I got at Tractor Supply actually. And I got this uh, fence energizer from Tractor Supply. I can't remember how much it was. 100 and a half, 200 bucks, something like that. Um, worked good. I didn't see any evidence of any critters in here deer size anyway I, I, I last year I had it down low and lower than this bottom rung you could see kind of down there I had run a wire hoping to keep you know rabbits and small animals out, and that was just useless and I had to weed eat under it all the time and it was just a real pain in the ass so I just didn't do it anymore but we'll work on this one this summer and uh, try to improve it I mean this, this it's not terrible it needs some love tilled it last week pretty soft still so had some rain it's it's decent we'll work on that but anyway wanted to show you just you know the electric fence thing that works pretty good and you know the way i have it set up right now if i want to go in there with a the tiller or anything or you know with the tractor i got to cut the wires on both sides so i can get the tractor in and out so this time around when i put it back together i'm gonna get those uh retractable springy things you know what i mean that you can just kind of hook on there and you know between the two and it'll just that way i can just kind of unhook it and take it off and move on put it back when i'm done instead of having to use uh crimps on every time when i when i put it back together so i had irrigation on it last year and the year before and i borrowed a neighbor's hose from way over there it was like 500 feet 600 feet of hose from that guy's good folks didn't mind giving me the water shared some of my vegetables but it was a pain so this time around trying to go into this a little bit different and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so with the hoses I had spigots on top here and all the way around and I know a lot of folks say you know you need to soak on the bottom and all and that was just something I haven't gotten around to doing yet but this worked okay I mean I figure a lot of farms depend on rain and that's all they get and it comes from the top so uh, I wouldn't mind adding some soakers down at the bottom of this at some point and I'll probably do that let me show you what I'm going to do now instead of the uh, hose situation all right so since we got this pond I decided I want to give it a shot with the trash pump situation I've seen some videos on this and varying degrees of success and I'm going to give it a shot so let me show you what I got going what I made and what I got so this trash pump is one of those $220 or whatever, $250, I don't know how much it costs, uh, two inch trash pump from Tractor Supply. I got it off a dude at the dump. He was throwing it away and uh, he just didn't want to deal with it. So actually, he, he, I just grabbed it from him and offered him 50 bucks for it because once I paid attention to it, he says, well, I'm kind of thinking of selling it, right? So I kind of lost my my opportunity I should have said hey you want me to grab that junk for you but as soon as I acted interested he, he wanted some money for it so I gave him I gave him 50 bucks for it yeah because it pulled through had good compression and the only thing about it was you see some uh, tar a lot of people use these for do-it-yourself driveway ceiling and they're cheap enough where you save enough money if you don't pay a professional to do it so you'll see a lot of folks get these two inch trash pumps from Harbor Freight or from tractor supply and uh, they they use it to pump the, the sealant and it, the pumps pretty much ruined after that if you don't clean it which a lot of folks don't bother so anyway this guy had this thing and it was all full of tar and crap and inside the um, 
inside the pump pump housing here. So you took all that off. I cleaned it up really good. Got some uh, um, paint thinner and, and down in there and cleaned out the tar and it worked great. Got it all out of there. Pump worked. So for 50 bucks, you know, close to free in my opinion. So I'm trying to do this on a budget. So the next thing is you got to do is you figure out how you're going to get water to it. So one of the things I did was, um, you know, from the, it, this has a threaded end here. Do yourself a favor. It's a little bit extra. These were like eight bucks for this fitting. And then on the end of the suction hose, uh, one of these cam lock gizmos right here. But you know what? For 15 or 16 bucks, it's well worth it because I don't have to come out here and try to thread that thing on every time and use tape, you know, pipe tape and all that mess. So this works really well. It clips right on. It makes it really portable. Move the whole thing around wherever you want. And so then I went ahead and built a manifold out of PVC and I got another one of these cam lock contraptions on it so you can just unclip this whole thing if you want to undo this thing it's not gonna to have to be all unthreaded and all that stuff and you just use a bunch of reducers this is all two inch pieces here going down to three quarter I have a valve on either side I don't know what's gonna happen when I energize this thing I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to run this thing on idle because it really puts out a lot of water so I'm gonna leave one of these valves open and run the other one and sort of see how I have if I could dial this down I may have to run it with one open I don't know just so it doesn't blow this whole thing the sky kingdom come you know sky high or whatever but i'll put it together and i'll show you what i'm gonna do right over there it's gonna go see that right there fat finger anyway just uh male female hose ends i'm just gonna hose it right from here right to there and we're gonna use the suction oh i want to show you something here too so the suction comes with well the, the kit came with the uh strainer and what I found out from people is they throw this down in a pond, especially a lot of clay areas like ours, it's not a rocky pond at all. It clogs up pretty quickly. So what I did is I just drilled a hole through the bottom of this bucket, ran that in there, put a pipe clamp on the back side of it to hold it in place. It's kind of wiggly, but it's not going anywhere. So hopefully this will sit on the bottom and not fill up with leaves and trash and crap. Let's give it a shot. So last time I used this to move some water to try it out, it took a bit to get it primed, so let's give it a shot. Let's see. Let's see, choke. It's already on. Cold start, let's see. <laughs> All right. Might take a minute. We'll come back to this. This part's boring. So how many of you were yelling at me that I had the hoses backwards? Uh-huh. All right, so watching bubbles come out of there and going, what the heck? Okay. So this is why we do things and we try shit out, right? Sorry about that. Let me fix this. So more better? All right, let's try it again. Come on, water. Where are we at? Oh, maybe I gotta prime it again because I blew it all out the other end. All right, come on. Get the air out. So far, so good. We got flow at least. There we go. That's just on idle. Wow, that's putting out some water. <laughs> That thing's working pretty good. Took a minute to sink it. Might put a brick in it next time. Let's see if we... Let's see what happens if we turn this up. I don't think I'm gonna need it once we put it on, but I just wanna see because I like breaking stuff and I like fixing stuff. Oh, yeah. That'll grow some tomatoes. <laughs> I know that's dumb. Simple things amuse me. All right, let's hook it up. Well, let's see what happens when we turn off the pressure on this thing, because it's probably going to run sometimes without the hoses turned on, just for a second. Don't know why, but just in case, let's see if something blows sky high. And again, because I like raking stuff. All right. 
What do you think? Final answer? Probably not too good for the pump to do that very long. But, we got water. All right, come back in a minute. All right, so it's gonna take a second to get the air out. I haven't turned it on yet, but I took the, the uh, rotating heads off, sprinkler heads off of all the corners just to kind of purge all the dirt and crap that's been here over the winter. So let's find out. You can probably see some geysers going on here. Take a second. Things gonna go first. Any of them? Also, find out where I got weak points out here. Anything cracked, broken from over the winter? All right, now. Losing people here is getting boring. Hmm. Maybe we got to get up this hill a little bit better. Boost the throttle. We think. what I wanted to see. Let's try the heads. Okay, well there's a casualty. The winner. Let's fix that quick. All right, so figured out why we had no pressure. Cut the bad piece out. This is where the water's come from. Pretty obvious, right? I guess, I, I don't know if I ran it over with a tractor over the winter time or we didn't irrigate in the winter. We had a lot of rain, so I didn't bother with it. Um, or might have just got frozen with some, some ice in there. I guess I need to drain these things. Well, no guessing. I should have drained these things. But good news is, I got more pipe, and I got a hoard of parts. No matter where I go, I always have a posse. It's good to be loved, but I know what it is. They're always looking for handout. And that right there is the sound of a couple of dozen peckers. Sorry, had to do it. I've never been accused of being an adult. All right, all fixed up, but I went ahead, since I didn't have, actually, I didn't wind up having one three quarter inch coupler and it was gonna screw me up. But then I thought about it, I did have some other parts and I do wanna add soaker hoses at some point. So I went ahead and added this T. I had all the stuff to do that. So, hoard paid off. All right, so I made a mistake and started this thing while I was near it, now I'm soaked. But it's working. You can see I got sprinkler heads, they're all pointed in the wrong directions because I had them all apart. But they're really putting out. I'm thinking I can run this thing on idle. Yuck. It's cold. There you go. Using what I got to make it work. I think I got about 200 bucks in this whole thing. Not bad. All right. Happy veggies. Later.